Necesitas un lápiz, un lápiz de color, un cuaderno o el papel. You will need a pencil, colored pencils, exercise book o paper. Hola, ¿cómo estás? What a brilliant week of learning it was when we were doing about counting. Um, I was absolutely overwhelmed by the amount of children that I saw accurately counting, so fluently and so confidently counting. So well done for that. Today's session we are going to be moving on and we're going to look at a different part of Spanish and that is all about colours or los colores. Los colores. Muy bien. Now, like we did with the numbers, we're going to learn the vocabulary first. There's quite a few colours to learn, um, so we can take it a little bit at a time. That's absolutely fine. We're going to do a few games with it. And then obviously we'll look at uh, kind of moving on and applying our skills or our knowledge of, of number words. Bien, okay, so we're going to start off with the vocabulary. So we're going to do my turn, your turn. I will stop at some of them and talk about the pronunciation. So it's really, really important still that we get that pronunciation right. So the first colour is obviously blue. Now you might be sat there thinking it's azul, but actually if we think back to when we pronounce the word dieth, the z was a th in Spanish. So it's azul, 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 azul. Muy bien. Okay, the next one. Yellow, in Spanish, where you see the two L's together, or two, two L's together, is actually pronounced as a Y sound. So a, um, yellow in Spanish is amarillo, 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 amarillo. Excelente. Red, rojo, rojo. So the J is actually a J sound. Rojo, rojo. Muy bien. Grey. Grease, 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 grease. Excelente. Green, verde, verde, verde. Muy bien. White, blanco, 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 blanco. Muy bien. Next one is brown, and brown is marron. Marron. Now you'll notice in the pron pronunciation of that, the urs are r, so you've got to roll your tongue a little bit. Marron. Marron. Muy bien. Also, you'll notice above the letter o, there is a an, what we call an accent, and that means that you pronounce it with even more emphasis. So marron. Muy bien. Okay, the next one is pink, rosa, rosa, and it's rolling the R again, which is really important. Rosa, rosa. Fantastico. And the final one, my absolute favourite word in Spanish for orange is, and listen carefully to the pronunciation, naranja, naranja, naranja. Excelente, muy bien. Now, at this point, as I said when we did the numbers, it's really, really important that you have a good understanding of los colores or the colours. So if you want to go back to the start of the video and go over the colours again to learn the pronunciation and to learn what the colours are, that's better if you're not sure than carrying on. Bueno, okay, so to carry on, we are going to play a game called What Colour Is It? Or, en español, De Que Color Es? Now you'll notice from the shelf behind me, I have got my bag of Los Colores. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one of the contents in my bag. So I've got lots and lots of bean bags in here. And you need to shout out what colour it is. Okay, bueno? Estamos listos? Are we ready? Si, sí, muy bien. Colores. Es azul. 
Muy bien. Bueno. ¿De qué colores? Es verde, verde, muy bien. Next one, Ooh, es difícil, es tricky. ¿De qué color es? Es marrón, marrón, muy bien. ¿De qué color es? Es verdad o falso. Es gris, gris, gris. Muy bien. Ah. ¿De qué color es? Es mi favorito. Es naranja. Naranja. Muy bien. ¿De qué color es? Es... Rojo. Rojo. O oh, red. Fantástico. Uh, hay dos. Hay dos aquí. There are two here. ¿De qué color es? Mm, es blanco. Blanco. Muy bien. Y finalmente, y and finally. Can you guess what it is before I show you? ¿De qué color es? Es amarillo, amarillo, amarillo. Muy bien, es fantástico. Okay, exactly the same as before. If you're still feeling a little bit unsure of lost colores or colors, then rewind the video back and do that activity again. Again, really, really important you have a good understanding of those colors. Okay, so next activity that I would like you to do. You will see that I've got my beanbag with Los Colores aquí, here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look in a beanbag. I'm going to pick out a beanbag of a particular colour. And in English, I'm going to tell you some objects that might be that colour. What you've got to do is you've got to decide what that colour is firstly, and then shout out that colour, but not in English. You've got to shout out the colour in Spanish. So for example, I might say, Ah, the sky. And you will shout out, Azul! Muy bien. ¿Estamos listos? Are we ready? Bueno. Okay. So the first beanbag is the same colour as the sun. And the same colour as a banana. El color es... Es amarillo. Muy bien. Okay. Bueno. Okay. The next beanbag is the colour of your ex or the pages on your exercise books. And it's also the colour of the background on the screen that you can see now. Es Blanco, muy bien. Okay. Next one is the same colour as mud. Y es marrón, muy bien. Next one is the same colour as the stem on a plant. It's the same colour as grass as well. De que colour es? 
es verde. Muy bien. Y finalmente, this is the same as a rose or the main colour of the Spanish flag. There's a clue behind me. ¿De qué color es? Es rojo. Muy bien. Bueno, okay, so we're going to do things a little bit slightly differently today in the fact that I would like you to do your task for today's session now before we look at a very special song which I'm looking forward to. And before um, I read you a story um, which I'm going to ask you to do a task with as well. So this is very similar to what we did in, in week one, where you've got to choose a way in which you need to present Los Colores or the colours like you did with the numbers between zero and ten. On the screen in front of you, there is an idea, obviously, of how to present it. There's also the accurate spellings um, that you can use um, to make sure that your learning or your work is accurate as well. But you need to decide, and I'm sure that you can think of a really creative way in how to present about Los Colores. Bueno, I hope that you've gone OK with um, your task for today. Um, as I mentioned before, the next part of the session is learning a song. Now, I'm looking forward to seeing some of these on Tapestry or Seesaw. Um, and the song today is called Qual es tu calor favorito? Qual es tu color favorito? Qual es tu color favorito? What do you think that might mean? It means, what is your favorite color? So the song um, obviously starts off with, Qual es tu color favorito? What is your favorite color? And it says it twice. And then it goes through some of the colors um, that we've learned. Now, there are um, a couple in there that we haven't looked at, but that's OK. Um, obviously, feel free to pick them up now or feel free to um, to learn them a little bit later. So it starts off Amarillo Verde Rosa, so yellow, green or pink, Rojo Azul Blanco, red, blue, white, Negro Gris Marron, black, grey or brown, Naranja or Violeta, orange or purple. And then it says, what is your favourite colour? What is your favourite colour? Like it has done before, um, when I go off the screen, it might take a little bit of time to, to actually start playing the video. But don't worry, um, the song will start. Enjoy. Bueno, okay, great singing. Um, we're going to finish today's session with a story. Now, the story um, doesn't particularly um, mention lots and lots of colours. However, it is about a very colourful creature. And the story today is called Los Amigos de Elmer, or in English, Elmer's Friends. 
So I'm going to read the story in Spanish to you and English at the same, well, as well. Um, what I want you to do, as well as listen to the story, as well as listen to the vocabulary, is to see what colours that you've noticed or that you've learnt about today, you notice in the story. Bueno. Hola, Elmer. Tú eres el más brillante de todos los elefantes. Hello, Elmer. You are the brightest of all the elephants. Vas a ir a visitar a tus amigos? Are you going to see your friends? Hola, Zebra. Hello, Zebra. Tú eres la más rayada de todos. You're the stripiest. Hola, Girafa. Nadie es más alta que tú. Hello, Giraffe. No one is taller than you. Hola, Serpiente. Tú eres la más larga de todos. Hello, Snake. You're longer than anybody. Hola, Canguro. Tú eres el más saltarín de los amigos de Elma. Hello, Kangaroo. Elma's bounciest friend. Hola, Raton. Tú eres el más pequeño de todos. Hello, Mouse. You're the smallest of all. Hola, Leon. Tú tienes el rugido más fuerte. Hello, Lion. You have the loudest roar. Hola, Lechuza. Tú eres la más sabia de los amigos de Elma. Hello, Owl. Elma's wisest friend. Hola, Oso Pola. Tú eres el más blanco de todos. Hello, Polar Bear. You're the whitest. Hola, Leopardo. Tú eres el que tiene más manchas. Hello, Leopard. You're the spottiest. Todos. Los amigos de Elma son diferentes. Elma's friends are all different. Pero todos lo quieren mucho, but they all love Elma. Bueno, I hope that you enjoyed that story and I hope that you recognise some of the colours or one of the colours that I said, but also some of the other colours in the story too. Next time we're going to be continuing to look at colours, we're going to be recapping over the ones that we've learnt and we'll do some different activities to really embed those or that vocabulary into our minds. Hope that you've enjoyed the session again. Adios!